Hey everyone, we are asked to provide the ground state electron configuration of manganese in the standard and noble gas notation. I recommend that you take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own before we go through the answer together. When finding the electron configuration of an atom, we are being asked where does that atom place its electrons, i.e. what shells and orbitals are its electrons most likely to be found in. To solve this, the first thing we need to do is look at our periodic table and see how many electrons a manganese atom actually has in its ground or unexcited state. Looking this up, we can see that manganese is number 25 on the periodic table, meaning that in a neutral state, no positive or negative charge, our manganese atom will have 25 protons in its nucleus and thus 25 electrons surrounding that nucleus. Let's also remember that in the past video, we talked about this handy device for remembering which orbitals have the lowest energy as these are the orbitals that are going to get filled first. So since we have 25 electrons to place, let's use this Bohr model of manganese to help keep track of all of our electrons. Recall that with the Bohr model, each of these rings around our manganese center here denotes an energy level on our energy level diagram. So each row here is associated with a ring on our Bohr model. The farther we move away from the center, the higher energy level we are going to be at. Now, let's start working out the electron configuration of manganese. As always, we'll begin with the 1s subshell, and as we discussed before, this can hold two electrons. So, that leaves us with 23 electrons left to place. Next, following our energy level diagram arrows, we have the 2s subshell, which again can take two electrons. Then we are going to move to the 2p orbitals, of which there are three, and these orbitals can all take two electrons. In total, this means that we can place six electrons within our three 2p orbitals. This leaves us with 17 electrons left to place. Following our energy level diagram, we have the 3s subshell next, which can take two electrons. We then have another p orbital which can take 6 electrons. Our 4s orbital is next and that can take 2 electrons. Now we have our first d orbital which can hold 10 electrons. We have 5 electrons left to place and let's recall that we place one electron in its own orbital before pairing them up. Therefore we get an electron configuration that looks like this. We can now write out the standard notation like so. This is just a more concise way of writing our above diagram. To write the noble gas notation, we simply look at the noble gas that has a lower atomic number than manganese. So this is going to be argon. In the noble gas notation, we simply shorten this section as argon's ground state electron configuration, and then we write out the remaining electrons like so. We've now solved for the ground state electron configuration of manganese in the standard and noble gas notations. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to solve for manganese's electron configuration. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.